Hello everyone, my name is John Fumo and I represent the Nanyang Technological University. I'm going to present a work entitled Graph Principle Flow Network for Conditional Graph Generation. This work is done in collaboration with Tenzer Luo under the supervision of Professor Sino Jialingpan. In this paper, we focus on conditional graph generation problem. Our goal is to generate new graphs from the underlying distribution of the observed graphs based on given conditions or constraints. In practice, we aim to learn generative model noted by G theta, such that we can generate high quality conditioned sample from the underlying conditional distribution G given Y, by sampling from a no one noise seed prior. However, conditional graph generation is crucial and challenging. Firstly, the conditional graph generation distribution G given Y is highly complicated. The correlation between A given Y and X given Y varies across Y, making it hard for generative model to capture conditional distributions. Additionally, data set conditioned on a specific Y usually has fewer data points, leading to a higher demand of learning effectiveness. Moreover, while existing generative models performs well in unconditioned scenarios, while a multi-step generation curriculum. This curricula are usually labeled unaware and thus fail to exploit the semantic information explicitly. In this paper, we argue that a lot of high-frequency curriculum turns out to be a good conditional generation curriculum that satisfies easy to learn and strong semantic preservation. As shown on the left, the state-of-the-art diffusion-based curriculum is corrupted by the inserted noise, which significantly impair the semantic information and leads to incorrectly generated samples. On the contrary, the low to high frequency curriculum proficiently captures the subtle graph label semantic, that is, the connectivity providing strong semantic guidance even at the very early generation stages. In practice, the low to high frequency curriculum means that we encourage a model to generate a graph step by step in a course to find manner by progressively add local details to a global course version. This is an easy to learn rank increasing curriculum and moreover, empirical evaluation shows that the low to high frequency curriculum achieves a high mutual information with the graph label across the whole process, showing that it can preserve the semantic information well. This motivates us to propose the graph principle flow network to generate conditional graph data following the flow of graph principle components. In particular, the proposed graph principle generates network generates conditional samples via Markovian sampling trajectory. At each conditional sampling slot, a randomly initialized graph data is fed into the forward policy network, and then it is iteratively refined for n times. At each intermediate steps, the forward policy network, denoted by P subscribe F theta, predicts the distribution of the successive principal components and add final details to the graph. In practice, a G principle flow network can be chained via the principal trajectory balance objective. Intuitively, this objective provides curriculum supervision, which align the intermediate steps with the low to high frequency curriculum. It also aligns the trajectory probability computed by the forward and backward decomposition. Detailed discussions can be found in our manuscript. We evaluate the generation performance of our G principle flow network on both generic graph data set and molecular data sets. Extensive experience shows that our model achieves the state of the art performance of various conditional or unconditional graph generation scenarios. Thanks a lot for your listening. I'm looking forward for further discussions with you all at the poster session.